fear the world. It has gone mad. Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2. We are here within the old guild in Guild Hall even. And we are here with our ragtag team. They've been pushing through, but they are quite heavily battered and beaten. So we're first of all gonna take a look at the One mastery trainer. When survival demands it. Indeed they do, and see if we can upgrade these guys just a little bit to improve their survivability somewhat. I think Crush is an obvious one to grab. I think that's going to be great. Um, and we're going to take a look at some of the others that are a little underutilized here. We were definitely saying prior that our range damage, especially in the back line, was, was definitely not as good as it should be. So it would be really nice. Ooh. Okay, so that's definitely one there. Um, we don't really have much range we can get here. Blinding gas is actually kind of incredible on an upgrade, so that's kind of nice. Um, so maybe we'll upgrade that as well. Okay. Um, I think we'll go with a pistol shot. That's going to be good for the range. We're going to go with the dead of night for extra healing. Corpse clear and a stress heal, which is very nice. Um, and then we're going to go with the blinding gas on our last upgrade here for Courtney. I think that's going to look really good for everyone. Let's the check the Wainwright. We've actually away. got a Plan bunch, a bunch of upgrades to put on that there. Very, very nice. Um, and we can take a look at the provision of screens. But fairly priced. We've got actually a good few relics here. We don't really have too many baubles. Unfortunately, we actually don't really have enough to buy anything of note. Um, so I'm, I'm probably going to save my baubles for now. But it would be a good idea for us to maybe cure up some of these relationships and de-stress somewhat. So let's um, buy one of those. We can whittle something as well. We've got one of those already, so we'll maybe go for another one of those. Um... Okay, and maybe we'll go with some cards as well. And then let's take a look at the crew and give... I think Josiah definitely needs some pretty heavy healing. I know his disease resist is going to be absolutely awful after this, but it's better than nothing. It's what we've got for now. And I know they don't like it, but it's, it's what they've got for now. Um, and then stress-wise, I think Jane definitely needs, uh, definitely needs one of those. Josiah, you can take one as well. And then I think we'll go like this, you two. And then like this between you two. And I think that puts us all in a much more comfortable position. Now, let's take a little look what we've got going on. Oh, that disease resist. That's going to be hefty. We're going to have to deal with that as it comes, but... That is the way of the lands here. It's disease resist is zero. Oof. Oof, that's gonna be uh that's gonna be rough. Well let's take a little look. We can give you the rest of that laudanum there, that's nice. Um We can let's go over to our combat items and see here. Um okay, these don't stack any higher than two. Um I think we're okay with that, with the bandages on you. Uh and then Okay, so you don't have anything right now. We don't want clear corpse because we're actually using that for other things. Um, well, that's kind of interesting. We'd be able to clear, uh, I think it's dazed, that is it? Yeah, we'd be able to clear dazed. I know it's just the once, but I feel like that's uh, actually it's twice. That could be quite valuable. And then a smoke bomb on you is actually pretty nice. We'll keep the smoke bomb there. And I think this is a pretty decent setup. We also have the trinkets that we're working with as well, which I think are quite nice. Uh, I just want to check out our speeds here. I still think it's better to have Courtney at the front line in terms of speed to um, do a stress heal when we need it. Uh, let's go and take a look at the routes we have to select. In ruin. Everywhere. In need. Okay, so we're back at either the Sprawl or the Tangle. We really don't have a choice here today. Um, I actually think that we're probably better off here fight no more than three road battles uh yeah i think i think we'll probably have to go here win at least three resistance encounters i've also learned that resistance encounters um are gonna help to stop our light diminishing as quickly um so 
That's nice, but I do think the sprawl is a little easier. Uh, so we're going to head for the sprawl, uh, which actually means I'm going to change something up just a little bit here. Um, we're going to go back to our um, thingies here. We're going to take off the bandages and go for some burn heals. They were very valuable. Um, and just we'll, we'll hope that that works out. We do have a few dire entries here, as we always do to go f through. We don't have one for everyone today, but we do have one for uh, Courtney. This one here is, of course, by TEA. Um... This lake of the journey was somehow worse than the passage through what remained of Armidus. It was an expanse of forest and jungle almost flooded by unrelenting rainfall and littered with the remnants of war consumed by the overgrowth. Should anyone find this journal, avoid this place, whatever it takes. The dead do not remain dead here, which first filled me with hope, but I cannot clear my head of the sunken faces and torrenous wails. Soldiers and civilians, cursed with undead, assaulted us at every turn. The men continued to avoid battle whenever they could, and regrettably, I joined them. Some poor souls were still surviving out there in the mud and rain, surrounded by the dead. No amount of help would ever be enough. I saw them rise back from the dirt despite lethal wounds. I did not think it would leave me so shaken to, my, uh, uh, to, to face my sinful work again. There you go. I admit I have taken a liking to the thief among us. I learnt their name was Dismas. I could not help but admire his courage. He fought without flinching both against the fanatics in Arbidus and the undead here. I am currently inspecting his wounds and general well-being while we rest, and I am outstanding by how little he complains. His tolerance for pain is clearly above average, and his tenacity. Many have died from much less than what Dismas has endured. I can only hope he keeps it up. Amazing writing there. And on to the next one. This one's written by me for Jane, our grave robber. I'm not sure what's worse, the burning embers of that destroyed city or the foul stench of the undead warriors we just fought. All I know is that I wouldn't want to go back to either ever again. Well, unfortunately, Jane, we're going to be heading straight back into the burning city of Amadis. I thought the beasts within the city were, to the, were the extent of the horrors we would face, but the forest has taught me that the, we have barely scratched the surface. It seems every poor soul um, to be killed in those woods was long to walk there for the rest of time and take any passers-by with them too. The Plague Doctor seemed to have a strange fascination with a few of the undead we fought, especially the one that used the powerful energy to reanimate our de defeated foes. Even, though that, even through that mask, I could see her eyes light up in no way a human should um, at such a sight. She reminds me a lot of that academic woman that I delivered corpses to a few years ago. But even still, the chances of it being her are very, very slim. But there you go. We're going to embark and, like I said, we are going to head into the sprawl. And um, we, we might not end up getting this goal, but apparently I really ought not to focus on the goals too heavily. I should focus much more on getting light and um, making sure not to lose light. So we're going to push forward. And we're going to see how we can do. I think we're at least setting off into this one in a bit of a better state. We've not got as much stress, which is nice. So let's head back into the sprawl. The burning city of Amidus. Let's go. The great okay, so fight no more than three ruined. road battles. Okay, so that's Another basically flame. what that means for us is we, we should be following this... Um, this yellow line here as much as humanly possible which as you can see isn't all that possible yeah it reduces loathing that loathing is what makes our torchlight decrease faster so we do actually want to focus on that uh, i think we're going to go up to the right here uh, and take the resistance encounter we want to be trying to take those as much as possible let's head this way on we go hopefully we don't gain stress too quickly here um, or hopefully we lose some along the way. These two are gaining affinity with each other. But you did gain a little stress there. That's unfortunate. Okay, these guys, they're starting, the, these guys are starting to, to work somewhat well with each other. But I wouldn't exactly say that it's their favourite thing. Um, we can weather this storm. Uh, what are we waiting for? Okay, if we jump in here, we get, um, I believe that's speed and damage. Uh, speed and... Yes, that is strength. Okay, so we'll definitely go with this. Jin is all for this fight. She is so ready. After that rest, she's well rested, ready to take on any challenges that face her. And look at that. Oh, this is... I don't know if it's going to be easy, but this is going to be 
This is going to be good, although you did just get a double dodge, which is unfortunate. So we start off with the ounce of prevention. I think even without the stress heal, ounce of prevention to start, rebuffing that disease resist is incredibly important for us and something we need to focus on. Uh, also, having this nice range damage now is, is huge for us. The, um, the immobilization there actually isn't too much of a problem for us, I have to say. That's something that I don't care about all too much. I'm going to try and remove the speed from these guys. Of course, this guy does dodge. We only got it on one guy, but honestly, as a fairly fast enemy, I'm pretty happy with that. A pistol shot in there. We'll try and take out the backline buffer first. We're probably going to take some damage from this main guy here and, a, and probably at some point some, some uh, burns as well. Okay, very nice. There goes our speed. We take a block there, the flame. That's from one of our... Um, Let's have, let's have a little look what's causing that, the flame. I'm not sure exactly what that's from, but it's very nice nonetheless. And we can go with our blinding gas here, which has been renewed to give uh, days. Next set will be delayed until end of the round and blinded, giving us some extra opportunity to quell the stress dealers before they manage to take their turn, which I think is, again, going to be very, very useful for our little group here. And we'll take a strike, and that crushes a huge upgrade there. That's... Josiah did incredible work there. And there you go, it's a miss as well. As I said, I did think we'd be coming into this with a relative um, heft of power. And it's definitely showing to be. Um, we don't have much of a choice at the minute. I'd rather take out the back line. But this guy, he deserves a wicked strike. And there you go, that's the dodge as well. And we even started with the block here on Courtney. This game, like... It really takes into its own as you get into the later stages. It really, it really molds itself when you get you start getting upgrades. We start getting trinkets to actually buff you more. And the game's pacing just feels, I don't know, it, it feels like you've actually got a chance against some of the monsters you're fa facing rather than every bit of combat being scratching for every little bit of survival, every ounce possible. It really more so feels like you are actually, um, you are actually like, standing a chance and you you head into a fight feeling like you could crush this enemy you could really overpower them which i feel like early game just is not the case at all uh josiah's getting relatively pummeled here but i don't think that's a problem we do death adore you unfortunately death adore is slightly annoying but i think jane will finish you off in the next turn which is good we'll go for a bellow here as well to lower that speed minus five speed's huge Accelerant's going to buff you up a bit. It buffs up his uh, apply fire on hit, which is annoying. But there's that death blow. Another Double crits impediment. back to back. Cleared with impunity. And now we can set up not only a beautiful crit for some dodge and repost, but we got a stress heal as well. Okay, so um, I think I'm probably going to keep my loud him actually. I think I'm going to hold the line on this guy. Hold the line. Josiah isn't always on time. Oh, no. Okay, there you go. Timed. And that defense helps out. We are back burnt again. That's going to happen from time to time. Especially when this guy just, just loves to just pummel Josiah into the ground. Like, it's kind of rude how, uh, how crazily uh, <laughs> they are pummeling Josiah right now. They really hate him. So we'll, uh, we'll get rid of that again. We'll go for a slice, I think. This guy's been lightly problematic, but not too much. I'm also going to take this for some stealth and a full heal, pretty much. And a stress heal, too. God damn. I mean, Josiah is the tank. He should be taking the brunt of this, but it's uh, egregious. How much this dude hates. Hates Josiah. He sees his armor and he, he just falls into a blind rage. But Josiah, he's, he's made of stronger stuff. He's made of stronger stuff. He shall not die. I'm saying it now. He shall not die. That's a miss, unfortunately. He shall not die. Really? Let us hope they find peace. That was unexpected. One more turn, and we'd have brought him back from the brink there. Oof. That sucks to see. We are going to be in a pretty rough spot from here on out now. 
pretty rough spot indeed, but... That's the darkest dungeon for you. I thought this guy was going to be not much of a problem. It's why I left him to last, but clearly he should have been a priority. It's annoying because both Dismas and Courtney could have saved him. Because they both had a, a, a heal. Dismas could have used the fire potion to remove his fire and heal him, but... That's how it goes sometimes. Now, only a few remain. This ragtag crew now, D Darkest Dungeon 2, it has been made and balanced to allow for this to happen and you still to succeed. Although it is a lot rarer and a lot harder. So we are going to have to uh, play this correctly, so to say. Back into the burning pile once more. We're not getting any buffs either way here, but we're fighting. Nonetheless. Now, everyone's everyone's um, going to be a little bit struck, I think, with the uh, events of past. I know this is stupid because this, uh, this guy's got block plus, but I really do want to take him out. Good, good, good. Added combo triggers as well. Okay, that's actually good. Immobilizing you there allows us to do some extra stuff with Dismas. I like that. This is going to be stressful, though. Not not just in the fact that we're going to take on some stress, but in pretty much every way imaginable. We want to take out this guy to stop spreading that flame. God, the burns begins. coming in. This area really, really heated up, didn't it? Get rid of that burn. Okay. So that's that taken off of you, at least. I was hoping that would be you taken out, but you remain with one HP. I think we'll heal you up. Impeccably timed. There you go, Dismas. The Ignite, oh, going to heal you up, okay. And you get an extra turn too, okay. You're immobilized blind? Mm, I don't know how that affects healing. I'll hope it doesn't. The Ignite there brings you back. I don't know why these guys get two turns, but it doesn't matter. Dismas shows that ferocity. Even in the face of a, of a friend, well, I wouldn't even say a friend yet, but a fellow... A fellow human that he was alongside dying, even in, even in the face of that adversity, he's, he doesn't falter. I'm going to blind you just to save us some time here. Um, nah, it's probably better that I remove the, the burn here. Extinguished at last. The burn's annoying. Let's get rid of it. Okay, if this guy gets to the front, yeah, there you go. Because if he gets to the front, we're going to hurt, so. The fire rises. Ooh, that's giving him strength and dodge. Hopefully this blind works out. Thank God. That would have been tricky if it didn't. I think we'll try and take you out. There's that dodge. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Pop a blight on you as well. The blights could be good. Fire rises once more. And we slice you down. I love that animation on that attack. We're blinded once more. Fire's on us, but we should be okay here. You can go down. I'd rather you be dead. There you go. Ooh, the relationship is tested. Amorous. The heart still beats. Desire will never die. I actually think it's more worthwhile to go with anti prevention here. In company. To get the stress heal before the fight ends. Amorous for an extra stress heal as well. 
We did get him blind there, but we actually managed to hit that. That's nice. Ooh, we death dodged you. Nice. Okay, that's good. Heal ourselves up a little bit, Courtney. Get some of that on you. And there you go. There's the death blow. Okay. That proved to be a bit easier. Let's take a look, take stock of what we have. And uh, maybe switch some things around a little the bit. Whispers. Okay. You need a combat item. I think Loudenum for you. And... Probably another smoke bomb for yourself. That should hopefully help out a little bit. Okay, to the watchtower. We're going to probably probably have to uh, go against a road battle here. We're not quite ready for it. The, our healing is unfortunately a bit lacking. We don't have any healing um, salve, healing potions. They seem very rare, and they're definitely very necessary with the, the sort of lack of healing that you get in this game. So hopefully we can find those soon. Gain some additional smoke bombs there as well. Nice. Okay. A little bit of stress coming in here, but these enemies aren't too bad. Immediately we'll go for that. The good thing about, like th like I said, how they've designed the game to make sure one death doesn't completely bury you. Um, the relationships become much easier to build because there's less interactions between people. Uh, but on the other side of that, they do be also become much easier to harm. So you do have to play it right and carefully. But we're getting lots of stress healing from our... Um, relationship between Dismas and Courtney. And in fact, um, as you might remember, T.E.'s diary entry actually made reference to that, so. We resisted the disease there. I think we finish you off, yeah. Love is the purest chemistry. I'll use a smoke bomb here. I know this is only a road battle, so we don't requ we're not required. We did just find two initial ones, so I don't really mind. Um, and then we'll give you a heal. This is going to like that. As, as I said, by by the way, prior to anyone watching this that plays D &D, uh, DD2, um, when we say, when we get like Amorous, which means love in this game, it's not traditional love. It's not like, oh, uh, these two are literally in love now. It's more so like... They're affectionate for one another. Because, obviously, we, we have a defined story outside of the in-game story that we're trying to portray. Easily dispatched. Okay, you are uh, thingy right now. So let's take out some corpses. 16 a heal, so that's amazing. Let's get those vapors on you. Ah, nice miss. And it brings you straight to the front too. And you're blinded. Things ain't gonna go well for you. Things ain't gonna go well for you. Even just for the damage rather than the blight, that's gonna be good for an insta-kill here. There you go. And there you go, we got out of that road battle easily. Eager to ply his trade. Very much like that. Okay. Let's keep it going. We're at the Watchtower now. This will reveal the map for us further on, which is going to be very good. Such a view is matched only by its unsettling awfulness. Okay, nice. So now we can actually have a full look at what stands in our way. So if we if we were to take the, the path of least resistance here, the, the least road battles possible, we would be heading to the hospital, and then the hero shrine, and then the battle then the assistance encounter, then either actually the assistance encounter again, the lair, the resistance encounter, cash, guardian, and there you go. Okay, so we'll head to hospital now. Uh, I don't know if we'll end up doing much there, but that's that's definitely the preferred option. I realize, Dismas, you'd like to go and help people, but the hospital, if you hope to more heal, important. You have chosen wisely. Oh, there you go. Relationship between these two is growing on the road as well. Even helps with stress. It's very... I, I love the relationship system in this game. It adds so much depth. 
But here's the hospital. Let's take a look at what we've got going on here. So. Health-wise, we're probably fine. We do have 28 here, so let's let's take a look. Wellness. Here you can actually get rid of some negative quirks that could be um could be problematic. Obviously, missed the mark is definitely problematic, although it will cost us 16. Let's check the pharmacy. Unfortunately, still no sign of um healing. But I will take some burn salves. Uh, I think they'll be very useful. Okay, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take four. Honestly, I'm gonna spend all my money on healing selves. I think they're really good. Right, combat item. You can take those, I think. And then, honestly, yeah. Let's let's give you the healing selves as well. The, the burn cells, sorry. They're gonna be super useful, just in this area. We're going to go straight up to the Hero Shrine here. We've got two for Hero Shrine. One for combat. There you go. Jane, you like to stress yourself out, but don't you? But these two are in agreement. Courtney and Dismas are building something together. They agree with each other. Oh, you're going to get a drink later? Okay. Good to keep your hopes up. Okay, so light is, is thinning. We are, we are about to go below 40. But here we enter the Shrine of Reflection. Um, I don't remember the stories we've seen so far, but I believe Dismas is still awaiting one. Highwayman. Chapter 1. Freedom. Let's continue. It, ooh, what the hell is this? A fleeting chance to escape incarceration. I've not seen this before. Stern Missile. I don't know what, what that is. Does that, that remove backup? Self forward three. Oh, this is interesting. I've not seen this before. This is so cool. God, we are taking some hard hits, though. Are we meant to win this? It doesn't feel like we're meant to win this. There's one of them gone. Another knee. Ooh, okay. Uh, ready to sound an unavoidable alarm. Okay. So this is where we use this. Oh, we can't. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. I see now. And there's another death's blow. This is super interesting. I mean, this guy's going to sound the alarm. Plus three stress. Strike in the chest. And a kick right to the chest as well. The punitive blow. We should be okay here now, actually. I think. We're doing reasonably well. We've not dodged anything, though. We have 50% dodge. We've not dodged at all. Death blow for you. Pull forward, sir. We might not win this. <laughs> I'd like it if we did. But we might not. These animations are great. Just for like a little sort of side story here. There you go, we got him. He would be a fugitive. Point blank shot, awesome. Man, Point blank shot, so good. A free one, nonetheless. I really like point blank shot. Very heavy damage potential. And in fact, I don't really use tracking shot all that much. So I'm gonna remove tracking shot and put on point blank shot. And we might we might give that an upgrade. We are a bit a bit thinning on light here. I'm a little worried about that. Um, we will gain some flame 
within within our assistance encounter over here. But we still have to go through one battle first. And we're likely to go under 40 torch when we enter this battle, which definitely increases the difficulty somewhat. Torch at 38, yeah. So they're going to gain some uh, battle advantage, some crit, and some speed now, which is problematic for us, to say the least. Lament the knowledge taken by the fires of these fanatics. We fight once more. Plus 33% death blow resist. That's that's rough. We'll definitely go with that as a present, uh, prevention here. We definitely want that fire prevention. I think again we try and take this backline guy out first. So we can actually point blank shot now. Yeah, huge damage moves us away. Does I don't know if that always gives us vulnerable. I need to check on that actually. I, I probably should have checked that before using it, but it's gone now. Let's let's take a little look at that, shall we? Oh, that's a crit as well. This was is not in good shape. It's okay though. Wow, they really focus fire on people. They really focus on someone. All right, let's just check on this. Uh, no, maybe that's to do with with this then. I don't know. I don't know what caused that. Um, I think we can take you out, guaranteed. So we'll go for that. Okay, we need to take out this dude pretty sharpish here. We are going to have to heal up Dismas first, though. The stress is getting a little high as well. Slice through. Ah, it's bloodthirsty, isn't it? I always forget about that. Probably one more big hit on this guy is going to sort us out. Yeah, I think we go for that for now. It's only going to get one of you, but that's a lot a lot of negatives to give you. So I like that a lot. There we go. Death's blow on that guy. Before, I think he like spreads fire all over us, if I remember correctly. Oh, thank you for the dodge. Vulnerable would have made that a big hit. And a miss. There we go. This is beautiful. Dismas is such a warrior. Like I said, even in the face of all that they've been through, he still pushes crisis, forward. We can rely only upon each other. That's going to be annoying. That dodge especially. Yeah, we, 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 we pull off that dodge so we can use a point blank shot essentially. You're a good one. Huge damage. Huge damage. Definitely going to be upgrading point. Blank shot. Messy. 27? Perfective. What? Dismas, please. Please don't let it end this way. What on earth? I've never seen an enemy do that much damage in a single hit before. What happened then? It was like a double damage crit, I think. Try use some Loudenum here to cure off some stress. My lord. That was brutal. We'll bring him back, though. We'll bring him back. You didn't need that. Jane, I'm really sorry to say. That's some heckin' bullshit right there. This 33 death resist is gonna be a pain, isn't it? Steady yourself. Yeah, no, no, we're good, we're good. Still, the stress is rolling in. An impressive haul. Wow, very impressive haul. Very impressive haul indeed. Okay. The loathing festers. We carry on forward. Dismas, I'm, I'm a little worried about. He fights like a damn champion, but goddamn, he needs to know when to back off. No one to not take a fight, because he's taking some hits. He's taking a toll. The stress is rising. Rubble and flame. As far as the eye can see. Indeed. Okay, so we need we need some serious flame here, so we're taking whatever gives us the most flame. 15, 15. That's it, that's all we get. Um 
Relic loot, we lose. Flame. Okay, I think we take that. Abandoned or forgotten. It is ours now. Eh, that wasn't that good. We got enough light to keep us going, though. I think I'm going to go for the ass assistance, assistance encounter this time as well. At least it should be. For more light, for the de stress or dismiss, and to avoid the uh, road battle here. This lair here might be a problem. High risk, high reward is not something we can take right now. At least the other two are healed up right now. Oh, you gained a buff. Nice. Okay, we're back basically down to the light that we were at the last one at. So we need a bigger hit of light here. A much bigger hit. Ooh, that would be nice, but we got to go for this one. This uh, this will be positive or negative quirks, right? Yeah, mixed quirk. So you gain negative, you gain positive. In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. Let's check. Winded. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Okay, that, that works out fine for me. Little annoying, but we got the light we needed. We can push forward. I don't know if the lair is a choice. I can never remember. I know that you can leave this after the first battle if you easy. if you want to. But I don't know if you can, like, skip the first battle as well. I'm not sure. Because I think we should. We're, we're not in a position to fight right now. And I think the group knows it. We're a man down. Josiah has missed. Foul winds and foul tidings. No doubt the source is within. Okay, so you do have to fight the first wave at least. That stress is really stressing me out. As the name suggests. Thing is, we don't have any good ways of de-stressing at the minute. Eyes closed. That is going to blind us, unfortunately. Although that's not the biggest of our problems right now. I think we definitely start off with a point-blank shot. It's just... Too much damage potential to not go for. The damage we got was decent. Ah, oh, it really brought us back to the front and immobilized us. To be fair, you have just signed your death warrant, sir. You've not only angered the man that just point blank shot you, but you've put him in the exact position to do it again. Although, <laughs> Jin, also having none of this. Also just having none of this. Wow. They falter. Honestly, every so time, every time I think Dismas is, fi is is wavering. Every time I feel like there could be a chance that he's not going to make it back from this. He just strikes with the, with the fucking heart of a thousand men. <laughs> and he just destroys and eviscerates everything we come across. Still a little worried about his, um, his health uh, stress situation, but... We can, we can sort of deal with that as we go. And there you go. Courtney getting a death blow here. We looted a healing self. Honestly, we're going to escape while we have our lives. Scavenge what you can and be off once more. Right. Who can pick up that healing self? You can. Beautiful. Definitely grab that. Okay. Right, one moment. Okay, we are back. Let's take a look at our map and see what we're going to do here. Um, what's this curious here? Okay. Uh, right. Okay, so... Path of least Resistance is a resistance encounter. Uh, I think we'll take the resistance encounter, I'll be honest. Everyone wants it too, including Dismas, which by right now... It's kind of funny how the person with the most stress is the person that you makes most of the decisions because whatever de-stresses them is what you're going to take. So, the person that's out here, what the hell's going on now? The relationship is tested. Oh. Amorous. Well, the heart still beats, oh my god, it's a three-way. <laughs> What's going on? There's a little love triangle going on here. As I said, that's not the, the story that we're abiding by, but within the game, it's funny. Um, still, light's a little low. Not feeling that too too heavily. Your path lies through them, and we're taking so up on a lot more battles fall. here. Um, go with this. I'm not sure what this means, but 
It looks good. It's not it's not blue. Plus tw oh, you fucker. <laughs> 20% max health and 20% damage. You motherfucker. This guy really was much more of a problem than expected from last time. So let's uh take priority on him once we killed this frontliner here. De-stress, give us that bonus to our resistances. Easy kill on this dude. We got a body there for Jane should she need it. We do have some burn uh, relief as well. Why do you get two turns? Can you not have two? Three turns. Can you just chill? Can you just chill? It's a bit ridiculous. Fire rages. Dodge and strength. Oh my god. You know how to ruin a man, don't you? This is brutal. This enemy sucks. So difficult. <laughs> this enemy is so unbelievably difficult. That is another thing with relationships. One enemy getting hurt, one one person getting hurt can stress out another. Funeral pyre. Okay, you healed him back to full. Good for you. This this is genuinely brutal. Oh, then that's nice. My God. There you go, attack damage, not that we need that on you, but you've got it now. Thank you for that dodge. I think this guy's really someone we need to blind more often. Because that damage output is just too heavy for us to take the hits. We need him to be not hitting. The accelerant just, it just spikes. Death Star on uh... Dismas, you can, you can pull through this. You know you can. You've done it time and time again. Drag done it time and time brink. again. A it's a crit. Through. Dismiss, you can pull through this. That's a more burn and a dazed and a pushback. I should have used my healing salve there. That was silly of me. I suppose it means we've got it for a death star now instead, though. Begins. I shouldn't think of it too ill. Okay. There's another death star check. Death star. And there you go, we get our first meltdown as well. Relationship's broken. This is problematic. We really all, all we can do is that. This enemy is an absolute beast. Not to be fucked with. I just don't get why it gets so many turns. It's already so strong. Death Star, of course you wouldn't die on your first hit, would you? You like three more turns out of you before you die. So brings back from Death Star at least. And wonderful thing. There you go, you're down, you big bitch. Oh god. This is a test. That enemy, it's it's brutal. An absolute savage. Knocks every one of us to our feet. So let's do that first. Self-reliance is a rare and wonderful thing. And then that. Beautiful. Need a skill like that on more heroes. That's so good. Heal you up a bit. Point blank shot for you. To 
Yeah. Death Star again. Fucking stop. Oh my god, why are you all so strong? Why are you all so strong? Come on, you're still not dead. Let us hope they there goes Courtney. Peace. Dismas and Jane remain. This, elite enemies. Holy hell, has this punished us. The slow suffering begins. Without a healer, it's basically all downhill from here. Jane can hold her own, but Dismas. An impressive haul. Put it to good use. Dismas is gonna be in a in a bit of a bit of a tough position here. Right. First the of all, I wanna check updates. out my trinkets. You can take the plus four speed and the combat start. And then you can take the plus four speed as well. Actually, yeah, and then you can take the the plus 25 fire resistance, please. Um, and then Dismas, you can take... This, I guess. Oh my god. This is going to be tough. Wants to be real tough. Okay. So we've got a road battle coming up. As well as a cache. And then a guardian. I have to say, it does not look all that likely that we will be making out of this making out of this alive. I'd have to say, I'd be doubtful that we make it to the next inn. Especially at such low light levels too. Humanity, twisted by hopelessness. Okay, we do have one of these guys. These guys can be problematic in themselves. I think we automatically start off with a blind on you, just to stop you getting some big hits. There's another enemy that I love the animations for. Hitting him for 16 off the bat's awesome. And these two do have a good relationship. It's going to help out a little bit. That's going to stress us out a bit. And add a blind. Ugh. My god. Another desperate grab, but luckily Jane, she's fast on her feet. And Dismas can dodge. That's a huge crit too. This guy's going down, and he's going down fast. Oh, unfortunate, but that does still give us a dodge and repose nonetheless. That's going to set us up nicely for the next time. There we go. Next turn, you're dead. No death blow for you. You're going down straight away. Horror, that's unfortunate. Ah, oh, you did get the death door. There you go. Cut right through it. problems have their solutions. There's a crit. Stress is coming. Lots of horror. And there it is, the stress check we were waiting for. The meltdown. Tick tock, tick tock. We at least can clear up this body. Bring ourselves back from the brink. These women of the night though, they are proving to be very difficult. I think the repost is helping out a lot. I'm not doing enough damage to them, though. There you go. Point blank shot helps out a bunch. Even more horror coming. Do we have Loudenum still? I didn't even check. I should have checked. There you go. Unfortunately, though, we leave with nothing. Empty handed. And we carry on forward to the cache. Our light levels. I need to find a better way of managing our light. I'm really bad at keeping the light at an actually decent level. The Wayne Rider awaits, eager to ply his trade. Decent cash there. It'd be nice if you could eat food along the way. Okay, we're overcome right now by quite a bit, actually. Um, let's go combat items. There's a bunch that we just aren't using. <clears throat> And 
then... Stagecoach. We're not using any of these. Okay. Keep it, keep it going. It'd be nice if there were some things we could use on, along the road to up our light as well. They might be later on in the unlocks. I know that you unlock things to find later on. But 11 light is pretty rough. Enemies have a huge advantage over us. And if we hit zero, we're going to have to fight something horrible. We've made it to the Guardian. This isn't going to be good. This isn't going to be good. I don't believe we even have a choice with this one either. Nice hit. Sets us up nicely for uh, Jane. Flame spreads again. It's going to hurt. Ah, no. That blind is rough. Could deal without that right now. Especially on this dude, but we got it. We got it. That's exactly what I was looking for. Quickly. Getting the repair set up is very important, as well as that dodge, honestly. The dodge is huge. You ignite for a bit of healing, that's fine. Blazed Aegis, okay. That guards you, oh no. That's problematic. The whip crack. I'm going to take this opportunity to heal up, actually. I know that it's not a great idea, but... It's a full heal and a stress heal. I think it's pretty good. Burning beads. That's actually fire on us now as well. It's a nice hit on you at least. I know you're guarded, but still. This guy's going to be a problem. He's going to kill us both, I think. He's in, he's in prime position for that. That really high damaging move now. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. And that's a dodge too. Great. Thank you for that dodge. Necessary. Even with a point blank shot, we don't watch it there. But we do move him back one spot. Okay. I didn't even think about that. That's very useful. He would have had the opportunity to do something horrible in that next move if we hadn't have moved him back there. The slow even, begins. even just these two on their own are showing the might that they truly have. They're both not long for this world, but they have put up a valiant effort so far. A valiant effort indeed. Just stop burning her, please. She's so burnt already. It hits death's door. We bring her back from the brink once again. There's only so many times we can do this, though. Oh my god. Of all. I hit Death's Door once more. Point Black shot for five damage. It's not enough, is it? It's not enough. He resists again. Oh, come on. I was hoping to at least finish you then. Dismas is chugging along. He's staying fighting. I don't know how. He even gets a kill. From the door of death. That's a miss. Oh, I should have used the, the body heal. That's stupid. An unforeseen there goes Dismas. Oh my god. Dismas is gone. Stealth should help us out. You find a way though, don't you? You find a way. Cheeky bastard. It's first of all blind him, I think. I don't know why she does such low damage. Really, the, the pickaxe should be doing more than four, right? Am I, I, or am I just getting like the lowest roll every time? 
Four to ten. They, yeah, this is, this is just what's happening. I'm like, why is it doing four all the time? Do they have some high resistances? No, no, no. She's just do hitting for four every time. And there you go. Taken out. And we definitely escape. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Still too ever encumbered. Can get rid of like one of them trinkets. Combat items. Take that on board. We've actually made it to the inn. But Jane is going to be having a rather lonely stay. Oh. Oh, wait. Maybe not. We just hit zero light. Okay. Didn't expect this. This is going to be the end of Jane. Was not ready for this at all. I will try my best to keep her alive, but these horrors, they know no mercy. They don't care if it's four of you or one. They will slaughter you all the same. Caught off guard in the darkness. You're taking a beating. Oh, it's the dodges that these all have. So unfair. Ow. That's a rather hard hit. And we have a meltdown as well. Although with no relationship to destroy, now, I feel a meltdown doesn't have as much potency. Okay. Jane is Jane is a fighter. My God. Wow. Nothing more. I don't know how you're doing this, Jane, but you're managing. You are managing. <laughs> Crit next attack. There goes our speed. Oh, <laughs> you've got to be kidding me with the with the miss. And we dodge. Of course, we dodge again. Now you add crit to yourself this time. Oh, we hit for two damage. That's good. I can't believe she keeps hitting for four. Four to ten. It's four to ten. You could hit for, like, more than four, you know. Death Star once more. With that bleed, I wouldn't expect it to be around long. And there it is. Let us hope they Take it back. Peace. Knowledge and experience. Twin yardsticks of progress. But saying that, we unlocked the Hellion. Learn from each. We unlocked attempt. quite a Deep lot of new objects to find along the way. And victory will come. Quite a lot of new greater uh, trinkets as well, which is rather nice. As well as a mighty amount of quirks. This should be valuable to us. My goodness. Now that was a struggle. So now we head on once more. While the flame still burns, hope remains. Stagecoach once again. Ready for another journey. The cycle the on the borderlands. Half swallowed by the stain. The cycle continues once again. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This one has been a trial, but these guys on our first run lasted much longer than I was to expect. So I'm happy. It went decently well. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please make sure to leave a like and a comment as well if you did enjoy the series. It helps out a ton. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. right to fear the world. It has gone mad.